I've been pretty much publicly staying out of the YouTube drama between Alliance of Demons, Felita the Geek, and Death of Speech, even though I've been shoved right into the middle of the shitfest by two of the aforementioned parties. This is going to be a quick comment on it. I'm not going to get too deep into details, but if you want to go do something else, I understand completely. There has been real harm done as a result of this, and this is something which has gotten swallowed up in the childish drama still raging from Felita and Death of Speech and their sheep. I've had the most personal information exposed of anyone involved in this, but that doesn't mean that I've received the most harm, or that I'm the one placed at greatest risk by what has happened. I don't have people actively searching for me with the intent of causing me more harm. As far as YouTube goes, the greatest tragedy of this is that Tamois Girl's channel is gone. She had some stuff of real value in there. In order to make it not a total loss, I hope to be presenting some of that value for you. Her channel was both interesting and fun, a great combination if you ask me. Over the last week or so I've gone back and forth on whether or not I'm going to shut this channel down. I still haven't decided for sure yet, but I'm pretty sure that I'll keep it going. And over the last week or so I've contemplated making a video about this. I've rewritten the script again and again as I felt the proper focus of the video would be defending myself and my actions. Then I wanted to put information out there about the whole mess, and finally I felt it would be more appropriate to make a less self-centered video defending others involved in it. Each time I finished the script I felt I said what I needed to say, but when I asked myself what it would really accomplish by making the video, the answer only came back each time that it would just be perpetuating the whole mess. The damage had already been done, and couldn't be undone. I still feel that something needs to be said about what happened, but I'm finding I don't need to be the one to say it. You see, Felita and Death of Speech and their friends continue to rage along as if they're in some junior high school butthurt competition, even after the parties most harmed in this have fallen silent and stopped responding in the interest of just making it end. And, well, that says more than I ever could. So instead of raging against them, I've been doing something far more important to me in all of this, and that's simply spending some time with friends and someone who I've come to consider to be a good friend the kind of friend worth keeping important. It's enabled me to get my personal life back in focus and has allowed me to properly evaluate where YouTube sits in it. I'm doing things I haven't done in a long time. Taking better care of myself, refocusing my efforts on things that matter, organizing things that I had left to become disorganized for a long time simply because I didn't care, but do now. I'm getting back on a motorcycle for the first time in two years now that I've properly prioritized things and I can't wait for spring. I look forward to each day now, and even a simple greeting of hi brings a smile back to my face. Not that I dreaded each day before, but I was stuck in a bit of a great tedium with some wrong priorities and didn't really recognize it. So there have been a few good things that came out of this. I'll still do the YouTube stuff, but it's going to be even more focused than before. My channel will be focused on the dialogues I've already started and focusing on activism and education impacting the real world in a real and positive way, and how others can do so too. My next video gets back to addressing Dawa Films' pedophile argument once and for all, and I ask a very important question of Dawa Films. It's already recorded, and I've taken a brief pause from editing it to record this. And I think I've said all I need to say. Thank you for listening.